21F 30M, he broke up with me on Christmas and is now upset that I don't come crawling back. Okay, sorry if this is all over the place. I'm distraught right now. Also, excuse any mistake. You know the disclaimer. It basically all came up when he suddenly wanted children. I don't feel able to take responsibility for a child. Not even for a pet. I have to learn to take responsibility for myself first learning to take care of myself. I feel like I'm not ready to do to my own body what pregnancy entails. And I see my job as being at risk. My future. He absolutely sees himself with children and cannot be happy without them. He more than once said. Would leave me for it if I didn't want to. We have known each other for 10 years. I was 13 then. He was 21 and he liked me from the start. He helped me at school back then. He was my tutor and we met through my first love with whom it didn't work out for long and he was there for me during my separation and gave me comfort. I was 16 and he was 24 when we got together. He knew immediately that he wanted to marry me and that he wanted many children like his parents. Even when I told him back then that I didn't see myself as mother. Ever. He always said I'm still too young and can't decide that yet and that it will come. We moved in together when we were 18 and 26. During this time, my parents separated. And he was there for me when I was feeling bad. For me, he was like the parents I always wanted. He loved taking care of me. He helped me in school when I graduated from high school and helped me with every project, homework, and studying before exams. He always cooked and shopped for me. He's still doing that now. When I went to work, he made me a snack and cooked or ordered food for me in the evening. However, I always took care of the household because it was very messy and washed the dishes, vacuumed, and did laundry. I went to work for us because he was studying and playing a lot of video games in his free time. We didn't have much money and couldn't afford anything. Holidays. Going out to eat and having dates at the cinema etc. That's why I went to work. We made less and less because he only ever gamed and didn't make it through university. We didn't even go to bed at the same time because he gambled late into the night. Then I got an apprenticeship and moved out. He didn't want to come with me. After we lived apart for the first time in four years, he hardly got in touch. And at some point, I saw no point in it and ended it. He decided to change something. He followed suit and got a job, played sports, and even gave up video games. Free choice. So I gave him another chance. We moved in together. I neglected my new friends as he always made me choose him or her. He didn't want me to spend time with others without him. Soon, they all left. He always wanted to do something romantic and I realized that I had lost interest in him sexually. And from then on it became more and more difficult for me to be intimate with him because he was like a parent to me. It bothered him when I was busy with work and when I wanted to meet friends. He told me that he couldn't take care of himself and invest in himself because I was always his priority that he put energy into. He complained about how difficult it got for him to follow his own needs and to take care of himself and his future because he always wanted me to be happy. But since I wanted something different, he dropped everything and did what I wanted, which turned into him being upset. Whenever I would try to step back and do what he wanted, he would resist angrily. I started to lose the joy in my job, which has always been my passion. Because whenever it started to go very well and I got many bookings his mood would sour. Also sex wasn't that great anymore either as it just didn't feel good to me as I saw him as more of a parent. Then he broke up at Christmas over the phone because I decided to celebrate Christmas with my mother instead of him like the years before. I used to put my family and friends on the back burner. I didn't do it this one time. He said that's the reason he broke up with me. In the most recent phone call, 
He expressed his disappointment in me because I didn't try to return immediately. He presumes that the relationship is of so little value to me that I won't even try to appease him. I don't feel like we're compatible anymore. And I fear it's going to turn bad again. But I know that he's upset and disappointed. Also, we've been together for such a long time. And I don't want it to be wasted. I don't know what to feel. TLDR. He wants children. I don't. I feel for him like he's more of a parent. Should I stay? Or should I go? Edit. I'm so overwhelmed right now. I want to thank every single one for being here and wanting to help. I need to go out for a walk and breathe now. This is all so much. In case people are wondering what grooming actually looks like. This post is the textbook definition of it. Op. He's a pedophile. Plain and simple. And you were groomed. Of course he's upset you're not crawling back. He's groomed you for 7 years. I was groomed when I was 12 thirteenths. And said all the things you're saying now. But he loves me, but I love him. I look back at it now. I'm 21. And my skin crawls thinking about that monster. And I can't believe I ever felt the way I did about him. Don't crawl back. There is no reason at all. He doesn't respect your wishes one bit. And thinks he can coerce you into children eventually. Do not stay with him not ever again. At the least you do not have the same life goals. The rest is an example of grooming. Controlling. Abusive. Manipulative behavior that you have no other frame of reference for whether it is okay or not and. The answer is not okay. You need to be on your own and to read up on healthy relationships to start with. How to have a healthy relationship. He's a pedophile and controlling. Of course you should run while you can. We have known each other for 10 years. I was 13 then. He was 21 and he liked me from the start. That was all I needed to read. Run far. And run fast. He definitely sounds like a predator. He groomed you. Controlled your relationships with your family and friends. That's not a healthy relationship. You need to lose him and live for yourself. Good luck. Go go go. He's been grooming you since you were a child. Please seek out therapy so you can see how screwed up this whole relationship was. Age gap and him being a predator aside you have come to a point in the relationship where you want different things. You want to learn to take care of yourself he wants children. You can't force yourself to do something you don't want to do. Just because he was there for you doesn't mean he is the right person for you. You can be someone's support and not be the person they end up with. Is this real? He likes you when you were 13 and he was 21? Sick get away. So a pedophile is mad at you? Call the cops, talk to the sex crimes unit. He needs jail time. Dude once you break up then you're broken up. I'd literally just completely block the person from everything at that moment because breakups are a definite end, not a manipulation tactic. You need a therapist there are a 100 people on here telling you he is a predator and you won't. Listen to us. So go see a professional who can give you the grace, patience, and tools to make an informed decision. This guy is a predator and that ick feeling towards him that you have sexually is because of this. He went after a 13 year old at 21. Come on now. He is a sexual predator. I was 13 then. He was 21 and he liked me from the start. Uh, I was 16. And he was 24 when we got together. Calling the cops. Also, we've been together for such a long time. And I don't want it to be wasted. You've also been worn diapers and consumed formula out of a baby bottle for years of your life. Why don't you keep wearing them now and getting your food from a baby bottle? 
You already wasted years doing those things. This is called growth. Things that served you once don't serve you anymore and it's okay to move on from them. This is also sunk cost mentality the thought that since you already spend so much time and resources on something, you feel bad abandoning it now and would rather try to fix it. It's very very bad. And you can google the effects. I don't know what to feel. You should feel incredibly lucky you got away from your groomer. Not everyone can do that. That's a pedophile that groomed you into a relationship and then had you for years as a bang maid. To do all his housework while he plays video game. I am so so sorry you didn't have someone in your life to save and protect you from this pedophile. Yes that's what he is. Having kids is yet another way to trap you with your abuser. Because then it becomes that much harder for you to leave. Imagine your situation could you have left him if you had a kid with him? I know what you'll say you did this willingly. Je didn't force you. Again. You were a minor and he was a full-grown adult. You're 21 now. Would you go date a 13-year-old guy today? Do you see how creepy that is? You need to completely block and delete him on every platform. If he doesn't stop contacting you just go to the authorities and get a cease and desist. Just because you spend 10 years being abused by this guy doesn't mean the rest of your life has to be like this. Imagine yourself at 40s and in your 50s. Imagine how much memories you'll make with the right person. Not to mention you were a child during most of this and he a grown man forced this relationship on you. Him saying the relationship meant so little to you I would slap his bitch face away. Bitch you were dating a 16 year old. What do you expect her to put into this relationship? Stay safe and good luck to you out there. You don't want kids. He wants kids. You two aren't compatible. Break up. I won't even comment on how sickening he, this relationship is. Go seek therapy. Leave. You broke up for a reason and not being on the same page about kids just means that you're going to break up eventually or, in a worst case scenario, you add kids to the mix and you get forced into a dynamic you never wanted. So you have already gotten enough comments about him grooming you. And I agree. But I also see that you are really pushing back because you love him, he loves you. So let me just say this. You are 21. You have a whole life ahead of you. And this guy isn't it for you. 1. He doesn't want you to be successful at your job. Which you are passionate about. He has actually killed your joy for something you love. And that means he isn't the right person for you. 2. He wants to come first. No matter what. And that isn't healthy. A healthy relationship means you don't have to put other people on the back burner, you can do things together and separately and it isn't a fight. 3. You aren't sexually attracted to him because you view him as a parent. You need to realize you can't change how you feel about him and you shouldn't force yourself to have sex with someone. 4. He plays games and admits it. He broke up with you on Christmas to intentionally ruin your holiday and expected you to come back to him. That isn't healthy. It is manipulative. And you deserve better than that. This relationship just isn't working. So stay broken up. Trust me. You are young. You have your whole life and it is better for you to have new relationships and learn what is healthy. Because this isn't it. Imagine your whole life like this with a man who controls you, makes you sad about your job, pushes away all your friends, won't let you spend time with family, and who you don't even want to have sex with. Get out now, while you are safe with your mom, and trust me in six months, you will realize how toxic this relationship was. This has to be fake right? Right? Please tell me this is fake. Her parents can't actually have been okay with her meeting someone almost 10 years older than her. At 13 and moving in with them at 18. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. 
Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.